Roger. I'll uh, set up a link right now. Thanks. Yep. Out. We got an updated doctor's bag. I bought this bag at Hamvention. I've been testing these solar panels, 30 watt. So it's, we're going to do one more video, but it's, I got to figure out the tripod. It's the RF. This is going to be short. I laugh because every time I say that, it's not. So here's our 30 watt. Now, this is not a big deal, but these panels came with DC barrel. So I made some uh, I made some adjustments to the cable. The other panel I got, the 40 watt, it has got another adapter. So you have the capability of DC mail, excuse me, barrel mail and Anderson. Boom, plug that in and you're good. So I'm gonna fire this up. I mean, I, it's firing up, up right now. And we've got the battery. It's a LifePo 4, 10 amp hour. What I will probably do, actually I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna put a 24 volt step up buck for this. You run 24 volts into this, and it comes out 22. Not sure why it's sitting firing up. Oh, there it goes. Just a bad connection. All right. Well, that's the doctor bag. Also, this is cool. This is the Bluetooth. I think it's BT1. Yep. You can monitor the voltage, wattage, and all that good stuff on your phone with an app. So I've got a charge controller here. This comes with the charge controller. I just don't trust it. I do trust the railing. Well, what's it doing now? Let me reset it real quick. Battery in first, then panel. Yeah, see, it's going up to 20 volts, whereas this will keep it. Why is it blinking like that? Huh. You know what? I wonder if this is on. It is on 24 volts. <laughs> I had it on the 24 volts earlier. So I might as well show how to fix that. You go to it's one of these where it shows the voltage and you hold down the enter. There, that one. Hold it down. It's on lithium. That's good. Hit in. Oh. Lithium, hit enter. Now it goes 24, 12 volts. Well, shoot. Okay, let's try select. There it is. Select, enter, and then you can set the voltage. I want it at 14.8, so I don't know which button works. Let's try. Okay, good. 14.8, and it just cycles back again. So we're going to hit enter and hold. Boom. Boom. Now it's charging. This thing will run up to, uh, wait, this thing will run up to, I believe, over 15 volts, maybe 18. Well, I don't want that. I don't want that burning up my battery. I don't think it would because the battery holds 24 volts. But, um, it says five volt output. Yeah, 18 volts plus or minus 5%. 5%, that's too, um, <laughs> Oh, that's a, another volt, so 19 volts. So it's up and running. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't have a uh, cable right here. I, I don't need to go get it. You all know what a phone looks like. All right, that's the doctor phone. And it is complete. And quite frankly, that, that would be just fine right there. But 
I'm going to get something to get up off the ground. Probably a telescoping tripod. All right, I'm going to go try to edit this and just throw it out real quick. I'm really trying to do shorter videos. 14.6 volts, so it's fully charged. Oh. Boom, pack it up and go. Row rude. So I did get... It at least 20 watts out of that out of a 30 watt which that's all i really expected for a folding one for that price i just do i want it to to give what it correction i think i i figured out what the issue is i think it don't it can only give so much out of one outlet so if you plug your cell phone in i think that will give you the leftovers so i think you actually could get 30 watts maybe not now because it's real hazy but all right i can go on forever but i'm gonna keep it short and sweet Get on out of here.